Hello, hello, hello everyone in Facebook land. How are you today? Thank you for joining me. For those of you that don't know, my name is Joy and I'm the owner of SubRosaTea.com. I'm about to tell you about all of the fabulous products that we sell, but just give me a quick second. I am running my own tech which means that the camera is in front of me at eye level. And then I have a tablet down right out of camera link so I can see all of your comments. Hey, Jen. Hey, girlfriend. I just read your post on what you did today. I love you. So anyway, friends, I'm going to talk about Blooming Tea first. Friends, do you know about Blooming Tea? This is the pod that it starts with. This is actual green and white tea leaves hand sewn around an edible flower. So let's get started with this. I'm gonna first drop this pod right into our glass blooming teapot. I just brought my kettle up to boiling water. Friends, I am quite short, and like I said, I'm running all my tech myself. So my blooming teapot is literally on one of my big old stock pots, just so you can see it better. Hey, Denise, thank you. Thanks for coming. Happy Saturday, friends. We're going to talk about blooming tea. I've got Saturday sangria in the works for all of you. Oh, how I wish you could have a sip. But I'm going to make it to make sure every one of you knows how to make Saturday sangria with our loose leaf tea. So, like I was saying, this particular guy right here, do you see it's already steeping? I'm literally making tea with the pod that I showed you first. So again, this is what the pod looks like. It's green and white tea leaves. Green and white tea leaves, friends are low in caffeine and very high in antioxidants. And we have used, again, an edible flower. So you're gonna get to see how this blooms and steeps in about five minutes time. Now, what you didn't see off camera is my kettle came to a rolling bubble. Yes, we want boiling water for our blooming tea. And friends, today I am steeping the flavor Lishi. Who knows what this is? Lishi, I'm bringing it to the camera so you see how we spell it at Sub Rosa Tea. We have approximately 15 flavors of blooming tea. They're all made with green and white tea leaves, so they're low in caffeine. Lishi is a fruit that you might not find in your supermarket. It's also spelled two different ways, which is kind of interesting. It is a fruit. Think about, does everyone know what a mango is? Think about that. A mango has a peel on the outside flesh on the inside that's nice and sweet and fruity and of course like a big seed on the very inner core. So the lishi looks very similar to that except that it's this beautiful raspberry color berry. It's not terribly big, almost, well it's bigger than a grape, more like one of those little clementines. Do you know what a clementine is? So you peel the outside and it's, like I said, it's raspberry pink, but it's spiky. So I always think it's interesting. It's probably curious in food culture. Why did a human ever think to eat that thing? It was, it's spiky on the outside. It would kind of give me like a warning, like don't eat that. But anyway, once you peel the outside, there's nice flesh sweet on the inside and it's sweet. So it's very typically used for desserts. Kind of like how you would probably use a strawberry, but you might not use a blackberry for desserts because blackberries are so much less sweeter than like a strawberry is. Anyway, this guy is already rocking and rolling. Let's take a look at this. A friend, again, at Sub Rosa Tea, this is called Blooming Tea. So it's only halfway there. Can you see the beautiful tea leaves are in the bottom and they are green? I can't tell because the steam bothering the camera. And then there's a yellow flower at the next level. And then it has um, a beautiful raspberry red uh, flower in the very, very center. And again, friends, we're making tea. This is called blooming tea. It is also commonly known as flowering tea. So like I was saying, at Sub Rosa Tea, we have 15 flavors. Most of them are fruity, but we do have some floral blooming teas like jasmine and flower. 
I mean jasmine and rose and lavender, and we even have some that aren't, either fruity or floral, like vanilla, and we've got a really sweet one that's, um, I said sweet, it's nice, a very nice one that's apple cinnamon. So totally give those a try if you're thinking about this. And also, friends, I gotta tell you, is your mom asking you for tea for Mother's Day? Isn't this just stunning? It is made out of glass. This glass teapot makes four cups. Each one of our tea blooms needs four cups of water in order for it to steep properly. And yes, it does need to be hot water in order for you to get all of the great nutrients, vitamins, and minerals into your cup of tea. This is called our That's Amore Red Blooming Teapot. We also, friends, carry this particular teapot in green. It's called Oasis Green. Isn't it beautiful? It's got this beautiful lid, a green handle, and do you see, it comes with an infuser basket for tea. Both the red and the green come with an infuser basket for loose leaf tea. That's what we primarily sell here at Sub Rosa Tea. We sell loose leaf tea, so if you wanted to make loose leaf tea in this, this particular glass teapot, the tea leaves would go in. Cold water, make iced tea. It's easy, I'll show you how in just a few minutes. If you want hot tea, go ahead and put hot water in with your tea leaves. The basket is easily removable. All pieces here, friends, are made out of glass. So this particular teapot, it can go on the stovetop, in the microwave, or on the dishwasher. Once again, our blooming teapots are available on our website, and they are made out of glass. Now, for those of you who are new here, thanks for joining us. Everything I'm going to demonstrate for you is available on our website at subrosatea.com. Today's live sale, I will be donating 20% of all proceeds to the United Way. So first of all, while we let this blooming tea rock and roll, let's talk about a live sale. Typically at Sub Rosa Tea, when I do a live sale, I would be showing you a product with a number. And if you wanted to purchase, you would comment below. Due to the fact that there's so much chaos, economic chaos right now in the world, we're not going to do it that way. Instead, I'm going to ask you for a favor and I'm going to give you a gift. So first of all, I'm still going to ask you to register on our website. You would register at subrosatea.com. We have a tab called Facebook Live Sale Registration. What I'm asking you for is your username and your email address. Why would I ask for that? Because I'm going to do a giveaway. It is a live sale after all. So we're going to be giving away today during the live sale this beautiful tea set. It does come with two mugs, each hold eight ounces, and this super gorgeous teapot that makes 16 ounces. It is so stinking cute. I just can't get over it. One lucky winner is going to win this and six of our loose leaf teas, which is a $50 value. So like I said, I was going to ask you to do a few things. I'm gonna ask you to like the video. If you've already done so, tap the video again, and it should take up your entire screen. At this point, you should be able to see a red live above my head. If you're watching it live, feel free to comment, feel free to ask questions. We're here together and I would love to know what's on your mind. In addition, we're gonna ask you to share the video. Right now, I have someone in the background working tech and she is sharing it for us in our Facebook group and on our pages and in the event that I created. We create Facebook events when we're having these live sales. The nice thing about the event is you can click going and you can also click invite so you can invite your friends to join in the online fun with us here. So remember, only share if you have permission to do so, okay? Also, I wanted to let you know now, and I'll remind you later, friends, if you are watching from a share, that's great. But if you comment, 
only the host will see your comments and questions. So if you would like to engage with us, I'm going to ask you to click through to the Sub Rosa Tea page and join the video here. Hey Debbie, hi Noreen, thanks Jen. Hi Pamela, thanks for joining me, I appreciate it. Happy weekend, friends, happy weekend. After it plays here on Facebook, we will be downloading this video and uploading it to YouTube. So we are going to give everybody 24 hours to play along in our giveaway. Make sure you comment below and register on our website. Hey there, Crystal. Happy Saturday afternoon. Thanks for coming. So anyone who comments and registers is qualified to win. No purchase necessary. Again, today's giveaway is a $50 gift set. So in addition, to liking, commenting, and sharing. I'm gonna ask you to go grab a piece of paper and a pen. If I say or uh, demonstrate anything that you're interested in purchasing, I want you to write it down, okay? You can purchase it on our website. Like I said, I'm gonna give you three gifts. In addition to your opportunity to win that gorgeous $50 gift set, we are also going to give you a code for free shipping, friends, the code, I'm gonna give it to you in a little bit, you'll get free shipping, and if you use the code, I will be donating 20% to the United Way this month in April. So thank you, thank you. Hey Renee, we can double check for you. Don't worry, don't worry. Hi Susan. Oh, I love that so many people are watching today. Friends, did you check out the blooming tea? Isn't it gorgeous? It's not all the way done steeping yet, but it sure is getting close. What you see on the bottom are beautiful green tea leaves an awesome edible flower in the center. And again, friends, this is our leashy favorite flavor. I know that sometimes it can be kind of daunting to try something new for the first time, and especially if it's a word or fruit that you've never had before. But really, it is definitely one of our best sellers. Everyone loves it who's had it. So if you haven't tried it, give yourself a good treat. This one's really nice. So in addition to free shipping code, in addition to the giveaway, I am also going to pick one lucky winner from today's Facebook Live from everyone who shares. I will pick one lucky winner, I'll put everyone in a basket who shares, and that one lucky winner is going to win a $50 credit. No purchase necessary. All you have to do is share, and every single time you share and every place you share is counted as an entry. So if you belong to a couple groups, if you run groups yourself, you'll be entered more into our contest. That $50 credit will be good for you to use on anything at all on our website at subrosatea.com for the next calendar year. A whole 365 days. That's what I meant by that. So anyway, three asks and three gifts. Friends, let's take one more look at this blooming tea. I can't wait to drink it. I am so excited. I just love it. It smells so, so good. While we're talking about blooming tea, I wanted to show you another style that we have that's very, very popular. I know a lot of you are messaging me, hey, you know, we got to get the gifts in for Mother's Day. You know, a lot of changes in the world right now, but friends, Mother's Day is still going to happen on Sunday, May 10th, okay? So I wanted to show you this other style, which we call our bamboo blooming teapot. It comes with a bamboo trivet that literally says timeless moments. I think it is absolutely so, so pretty. And we it comes with, it's got the glass blooming teapot. So again, friends, this makes four cups. It has this beautiful lid that's bamboo and it does seal nicely. The lid seals on this particular glass teapot. This one, friends, obviously for blooming tea, that's where you can find it on our website, but it does also make loose leaf tea. Unlike this style that came with the clear basket for loose leaf tea, this style, <clears throat> you would put the tea leaves in and it has a corkscrew fine mesh metal in the spout. So that is going to enable you to keep all of your tea leaves in. The little metal ringlet is re removable. 
So if you decide to microwave this, definitely remove the metal. But it's going to trap all the bloom in here as you pour, or of course the loose leaf tea. So it does both. Hey, Tammy and Jessica. Hello, hello. Thanks for joining us. Again, friends, this bamboo blooming teapot is available on our website individually and as a gift set. I'm going to set this blooming tea aside for just a minute because it is time for Saturday Sangria. <laughs> Who's been making sangria with their fruit tea? So last week we introduced fruit tea combo pack on our website for the very first time. We have four different flavors of our loose leaf tea in a combo pack right now for you. Let me pull those forward. Four of our loose leaf tea blends and this iced tea jug, you can buy them all together and save, okay? If you buy them all together and get free shipping, you're literally going to be saving $15. So let me tell you about it. This is our glass iced tea jug. It is for ice tea. So again, we sell loose leaf tea, friends. Does everyone know that? This is loose leaf tea, okay? So... You're not buying it in a tea bag, but you do buy it by weight. This particular jug makes six cups, and you would use nice cold water to make iced tea, and in this case, to make fruit tea. So fruit tea is typically with caffeine, and we have picked four flavors that do have caffeine. If you are completely needing a caffeine-free fruit tea, would you let me know and I can get you something special, but I wanted to mimic true fruit tea that you'd probably get in the South. So we have two fabulous fruit teas to start with, our afternoon apricot. This is a black tea that has apricot and mango and our oolong peach tea. Oolong tea is nice and smooth. It's naturally not as bitter as black tea. And our oolong peach tea is like orchard fresh peaches. The other two flavors that come in your fruit tea combo are raspberry Earl Grey, which is a black tea. And for those of you that don't know friends, Earl Grey is made with bergamot, which is a Tuscan orange. So this is raspberry and orange, and this is blood orange mango, which is a green tea. This one's nice and sweet. Blood orange mango is a green tea that has moringa in it. Moringa is known to lower blood sugar and blood cholesterol. My recipe for fruit tea is so, so simple. You are literally going to use one tablespoon of each of these four teas in your jug. I already have that measured out, all four teas. You can see the big pieces of the blood orange mango. I was talking to a customer at a pop-up style event once, and she made a face when I told her it had blood oranges in it. And she was like, why would you say that? Why would you call it that? I was like, well, that's the name of the fruit. She just didn't know. And I'll be honest, where I live in Ohio, um, it's not very popular. You wouldn't naturally see blood oranges in our grocery store, certainly not year-round. Just like you wouldn't naturally see um, like key limes. Those are a seasonal item where I live. Lemon Myers. I mean, I know they exist and they grow other places, but they're really not all that common. So I am so glad that she alerted me to the fact that not everyone knows what a blood orange is. It is a citrus fruit and it's a different type of orange, okay? So anyway, there's no blood in it. But again, that was her perception. So I wanted to clear that up in case anyone else was just too, too nervous to ask that question. But normally, friends, back to our fruit tea. So we sell the combo pack this way, but it is Saturday and yes, you can normally use ice cold water to make iced tea, but today, friends, Saturday sangria, I think I'm rewarding myself with some sangria. So instead of cold water, I'm going to use cold wine to make sangria. Hey there, Sharon. Thanks for stopping by. So as most of you know, a bottle of wine holds about four cups, four cups of fluid. Now this particular jug makes six cups, which hence my recipe for the fruit tea is one tablespoon of all four teas. So that's actually eight, eight servings of tea. 
for this. I really do like it just a pinch on the strong side. I definitely like the caffeine. I love all the different fruits inside. Typical fruit tea is not only made with tea bag tea, which friends can be a little bitter. They also steep it hot, which again makes it a little bitter. And so what they tend to do is add fruit concentrate. <clears throat> Friends, we can do so much better with loose leaf tea. Did you know that loose leaf tea is literally 10 times healthier for you than tea bag tea? So our tea is organically grown. I do use only all natural ingredients. So what you're seeing in here is literal, literal pieces of fruit. I have no reason not to use them. Now what you're also looking at, again, this makes six cups. So you're seeing that I did not fill this up. If you wanted, you could open another bottle of wine. You could just fill it with more water. If you want bubbles, you could add seltzer water or club soda. I love a carbonated sangria. Why not? You see what I'm saying? But friends, you saw me at the start of the video, I started with this blooming tea. I'm going to bring it up because I see some new people here. Hey, everyone. Amy. <laughs> Girl, I'm on the edge of my seat with tea and wine. I know, friend. I know. Yes, yes, yes. Friends, we can cold steep our tea in anything. It's called cold steeping. I don't think you should do that with a tea bag tea, but you can with our tea, with loose leaf tea. And if you are brand new to Sub Rosa tea, it literally has the instructions right here on the package. I tell you how to do it, I promise, but you gotta be 21 to do with the alcohol, okay? It might be Saturday in my house because I'm an adult, but you know, you know who I'm talking to. Anyway, friends, you saw me make this blooming tea, and it's leashy. Remember I told you? It's a nice, sweet fruit. This guy is being a little shy. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can coax him to the center so you can see him. He is so beautiful, and it smells so, so, so good. Oh, my goodness. Look at how beautiful. Friends, it's like dinner and a show. So this little guy... He not only has the green and white tea leaves on the bottom, the beautiful yellow gold flower in the center, and then it has like two, like like an arch almost, um, two of these arches on the sides with the ivory, and then at the very top, it's got this beautiful blooming flower that's like a raspberry color. Oh gosh, it's so beautiful. But the reason why I bring this to the camera again is that I made this tea. You see what I'm saying? So when the video's done, obviously you can tell that it's steeped. It's been a few minutes now. This is done steeping. I'm gonna set it aside, and when the video's done, it'll probably be cold enough, or at least room temperature, and I'm gonna add this liquid to my sangria. I'm gonna mix all the flavors together. I personally live a keto lifestyle. I do not partake in sugar any longer, but that's my personal choice. But I will give our other group a plug. If you are also living keto, we do have a group called Keto Tea and Me. You are invited to join, but I don't do sugar. So the amount of wine in this is probably going to be my limit for the day. So instead of adding something else sugary or sweet like a fruit concentrate, which is typically how they make fruit tea, instead I'm going to add another sweet fruit tea to this to make a full bodied six cups. So friends, once again, we do sell this jug individually. It is made out of glass. It makes six cups, and the best thing in my opinion, okay, Saturday sangria is clearly the best thing, right? But if it's in the door of your fridge, who has got room in their fridge? I never do, right? But often I have room in the bottom, in the door. So if it's in the door of the fridge. Now, again, if you're new to loose leaf tea, this might look a little strange to you, but this lid acts like a strainer to keep all the leaves down. So when I pour this out, it's going to keep the leaves down here. We're cold steeping. You're not bruising the tea leaves with hot water. So you can use these tea leaves three to four times. Just fill it up again. Remember the leaves are down here. Fill it up again. If you think it's not strong enough, add one more scoop of tea, maybe two. Add some frozen fruit. Add some orange slices. Have fun. It's yours, right? It's your tea. Just keep cold steeping. Now, in my opinion, 
iced tea is going to taste perfectly acceptable after about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, you're rocking and rolling, you got your iced tea. That is normally how long it takes me to go make lunch. You know, just make your iced tea first, stick it in the fridge, go make lunch, you're rocking and rolling in just a few minutes. But the best thing about cold steeping, you don't have to set a timer. It doesn't matter how long it's in the fridge. So again, you could add some ice to it if you wanted it colder, but that's not necessarily going to speed it up. It's just that you're not bruising the tea leaves, so the leaves take a little longer to rock and roll and flavor your water. Using them over and over again, they're nice and flavorful. It will not get bitter. So you could let this go two hours. You could let it go overnight. It'll be great iced tea whenever you get back to it. My personal preference though, I'm going to tell you that once you steep your tea leaves, you should probably drink the tea in five days. Me personally, six cups. No, not five days. I would totally have this consumed well before the five days, but that's just me. I just wanted to throw it out there that if you decide to make iced tea, go ahead and drink that at least a cup a day, as you probably all do anyway if you're watching the video. So again, the jug is sold separately on our tea accessories page. All together, you're going to save money because I did a cute little bundle with you. If you buy all four and the jug, it is called our fruit tea combo pack and you will find that on our top shelf web page and I'm going to set this aside one more last look you can see the beautiful beautiful colors that our blooming tea has yielded oh I just absolutely love the color the scent is so fabulous I'm gonna leave the lid off so it comes to room temperature so I can add it to sangria Hey, Catherine, thanks for joining us. Renee, yes, I know, fascinating, cold steeping. It's fabulous. Friends, for those of you who just arrived here, thank you for coming one more time. Absolutely everything that I am talking about here today, you can purchase on our website at subrosatea.com. Who's got a pen? I'm going to give you a free shipping code. Friends, today during our live sale, I'm going to give you a code for free shipping. If you use this code, I will be donating 20% of live sale proceeds to the United Way. Again, you can use the code UNITED to get free shipping. One last time, if you like or hear or see anything on this video, I invite you to share, but only if you have permission. Every person who shares the video will be entered to win a $50 credit on our website. You can use that over the next 365 days. And one last time, I'm going to bring the giveaway forward. We are having a giveaway for this particular item, no purchase necessary. In order to be eligible to win this particular giveaway, which comes with two cups and this super cute teapot and six of our teas of $50 value. All you need to do is comment and register on our website. When you go to subrosatea.com, you'll see a link for Facebook live sale registration. The winner of this $50 gift set will be emailed 24 hours from now. We will download this video and share it on our YouTube channel. It will also run and play on our website if you'd like to review it. So thanks guys. So first up, first up, first question. You know me, I always love asking questions during a live. Tell me this, it's Saturday. What you guys doing tonight? Are you going to cook dinner, eat leftovers, or get takeout? Leave me a comment below while I reset. Up next, friends, I want to tell you about the combo pack that I introduced this week on our website. It is called Tip Top Tea Combo Pack. The Tip Top Tea Combo Pack was created very specifically because of the chaos. A lot of you just are not feeling like themselves any longer. Your sleep is not the same. You're feeling some anxiety. Still, even though we've been here for over a month, things have changed, probably going into five weeks for some of us. Some of you are just staying up way too late. Some of you aren't eating right, even though you used to. And so I wanted to share with you when I need to reset, when I need to get back to feeling like my tip top self, 
this is what I do. So I wanted to share with you my tips and I created this entire pack. Um, again, it'll save you money and you can use the code for free shipping. So the three T's in our tip top T combo pack, our warrior chai mate, our oolong tea, and our dandelion tea. First up, friends, oolong, the warrior chai mate. Has anyone here had it? Who's had the warrior chai mate? Friends, mates are rich in nutrients. They have seven of nine essential amino acids. It reduces appetite and boosts metabolism. It's no, mate is known to burn stored fat and use it as energy. And it does have a small amounts of vitamin C, E, and zinc. Friends, mate is not the tea plant. It's actually a completely different plant that grows in the Amazon and it has a very stimulating energy. If you are new to Sub Rosa tea, we have a caffeine meter right here. This tea has 80 milligrams of caffeine. Coffee has around 100 to 110. So I have chosen the Warrior Chai Mate, not only because it has mate, but because I love chai, of course I do. But this particular tea is so completely flavorful that it reduces my cravings for all the junk. When I get back from a really long weekend of traveling and getting out of sorts, on Mondays, I always wake up hungry. It's awful. I also wake up craving things I should not be eating. So this chai satisfies all my taste buds and that's why it's always a part of my tip top tea pack. Next up friends is our oolong tea. Oolong tea, like I said before, it's not as bitter as black tea. It's known to boost your immune system, lower cholesterol and aid in digestion. So I like adding the regular oolong tea to the mate. We do have fruity ones. Like I told you, the oolong peach is in our fruit tea combo pack, and we have one that's oolong and chocolate. But I think regular oolong is right where it needs to be. And friends, regular oolong tea is typically served in fine Chinese restaurants. It's kind of like they know that after you've had a big Chinese meal, you need a tea that aids in digestion. The third tea in the Tip Top Tea combo pack is dandelion. Friends, dandelion is completely caffeine free. Dandelion is known to have vitamins and minerals, cleanse the blood, boost your immune system, and it acts as a diuretic for your kidneys and it increases the flow of bile in your liver. So this is going to work for both your kidney and liver function which even though I don't always call it a detox tea, I think that is really the main focus when most customers come and ask me. You know, my whole thing right now is, my philosophy is if you can't do what you do, do what you can. So if you didn't know, I am typically a pop-up style vendor. I travel to festivals, fairs, craft shows, art shows. I travel to five states. I am based in Ohio, but I travel around and I do have staff members that travel for me and sell our tea at pop-up style events. We can no longer do that, but what I can do is share some information with you. So I don't have a retail shop, so that's not closed, but we do have a great website. And I'm just kind of playing off the feedback that I get from customers when I do see them at a show, or perhaps um, private messages. A lot of people have been asking me, boy, this is rough. I'm having a hard time sleeping. I'm not feeling like myself. I need a little boost. So I'm so thankful for our community. If you didn't know, we do have a Facebook group called the Top Shelf Group. You are welcome to join that. You're invited to join that. It's completely free to join. But I do talk more about health information, recipes. We even play games sometimes. So please join us there too. Anyway, my recipe for the Tip Top Tea combo is using this bottle. Friends, this bottle is called our Everest Tumbler and we do sell it by itself, but you'll get a discount if you buy it in with the combo pack. And it comes in two colors, both black and this mustard color. This has a screw top lid 
and the whole entire lid comes off with a screw and the infuser basket is a two finger tug. So again, friends, we sell loose leaf tea. So two teaspoons of mate and one teaspoon each of the oolong tea and the dandelion all go in this basket. For those of you who are interested in the detox, in resetting, feeling like yourself again, I am going to request that you use boiling water. This particular combo pack, friends, I think you're gonna enjoy it cold too, you will. But if again, you are looking for the health benefits that I just mentioned, please use boiling water, okay? So tea leaves in here with boiling water and I want you to let it steep at least five minutes. When you're done, remove the basket, put the lid on, and again, I'm thinking myself on Mondays what my life is like. This has a great handle. You can take it wherever you're going, whether you're out the door, driving somewhere, going to work, you're just walking around the house. My advice to you is sip this. This is three cups of tea. I want you to sip it, sip it slowly, sip it over three hours. That's one cup per hour. So it is pretty slow, but you'll be happy to know this bottle will keep your tea hot for 10 hours or cold for 20. Does that make sense? As long as the lid is on. It is definitely one of the best bottles that we sell. It is totally my favorite. And I want you to carry this around with you on your reset day. When you are done after three hours, did you see how I took the infuser out and I just set it aside? I want you to use the same infuser with the same tea leaves still in it. I want you to put it right back in with another three cups of hot water and let it steep again. When that's done, obviously remove, put the lid on, and this is your next three hours. So yes, this is a six hour process, but you're sipping. Easy peasy, it's not actually hard. It's not like I'm telling you to meditate for 20 minutes or do yoga for an hour and a half to reset. This is easy, you got this, I know you do. This makes my belly happy, it helps. I do get dehydrated when I travel. There's no doubt about it. I'm driving for a couple of hours. I'm nervous about how much I drink because I don't know where I can stop. I'm working. I'm talking to customers behind a table. I know I get myself dehydrated, but I need a reset on Monday. So drinking this much is easy peasy. It's so simple. You're going to love it too. I know you will. So again, this is called our Everest Tumbler. We do sell it separate on our website on the tea accessories page, but you can find it together with these three teas in our tip top shape combo pack. Next up, friends, next up, I've got my next question. Friends, did you see we are having three major events to kick off the month of May and I am so excited. I'm deep in planning and I can't wait to share with you all my ideas, but I need some help. Will you help me please? Will you help me? Okay, so first of all, you know I'm gonna ask you to click going to the event, okay? We've already set them up. First one, Kentucky Derby. Sure, it's not gonna happen on Saturday, May 2nd, the way it was supposed to. Who cares? I wouldn't have gone anyway, right? Don't you think it'll be fun? We're gonna have a tea party centered around the mint julep and the Kentucky Derby. Fancy dresses, big hats. Okay, let's be honest, I'm gonna be the only one on camera. You wear you, you know, whatever you wanna wear. If you wanna wear sweatpants, I don't care. But please say you'll come. You can find our events on our Facebook page. All you have to do is click going, but invite your friends because we're going to have fun. Next up, Cinco de Mayo. We are going to do something super, super fun. It's like the first time in seven years that Taco Tuesday has landed on May 5th. We are going to do it up right. We're going to talk about all things tequila, chocolate. We're going to do some cooking. I have got a guest who won't actually be here because we're, you know, socially distancing, but she's a foodie. I'm gonna do some cooking. I'm gonna do some recipes. I'm gonna share with you all the fabulousness. So promise that you'll come. That's Cinco de Mayo, that's May 5th, and that's at night. So again, make sure you click going. The third one, friends, yes, Mother's Day is coming up. Yes, it's in the month of May. It is Sunday, May 10th, but our online party is going to be Saturday, May 9th. It will be in the morning and we're gonna have a fun tea party. So my big ask for you, would you do me a solid favor? If you have ever been to a tea party, whether you hosted it or have attended one in 
in person or maybe gone to a restaurant where it was like super tea party related, would you leave me a comment below and tell me what you had? What did you eat? What was magical about it? Was it those little cucumber sandwiches with the crust cut off? Was it maybe a, sh a strawberry shortcake dessert? Tell me what it was about that Mother's Day tea party and I'm going to make again a bunch of recipes and we're all gonna have tea together. So I do hope that you will invite your mom and if for whatever reason she can't attend, invite some ladies, invite the special ladies in your life. Don't we all have a good friend, a big sister, someone that we would like to have a Mother's Day tea party with? We're going to do something really fun on Saturday, May 9th. Again, you can click going on the Facebook events, which they can be found on our Sub Rosa Tea Facebook page. So thank you for that. For those of you watching on a share, I'm going to remind you one more time. I know lots and lots of people are watching right now. Friends, if you are watching from a share or a watch party and you've got questions or comments, I'm going to request that you click through to the Sub Rosa Tea page and find the video. That's the only way I am actually going to see your comments and questions. And of course, right now I am live. So if you are watching on the replay, use the hashtag replay. That will alert me that you've got a question or a comment. And the next time I pop into Facebook, I will find them and try my best to answer them. So thank you, thank you. Tina says, question, do you have a tea for heart health and circulation? Awesome question. It's funny that you should say that because it's actually here in front of me. That's kind of weird, right? It's blooming tea. I say it all the time. Blooming tea has all the antioxidants because of the green and white tea leaves, but the edible flower is for heart health. Yes, I didn't say it in today's video, but I say it all the time. Blooming tea is my um, my recommendation. And Tina, we have lots of flavors of blooming tea. This one that I steeped up here is Lishi, but we do have lots of flavors. And friends, our blooming tea is all together on one page. So when you go over to our website at subrosatea.com, you'll be able to quickly find them. Let's see, Marsha, Miss Molly's Tea in Medina has a special quiche. And they also have strawberry pretzel. Marsha, do they still have that? Marsha, I have not been to Miss Molly's in Medina for probably like 20 years, 25 years. Do they still have strawberry pretzel salad? I love that you said that because I have a keto version of it and it's really good. Instead of pretzels, I use pecans as the base. Heaven, I actually like it better than the version with the pretzels. So I'm glad you mentioned that. I am going to make that. Renee asks, so do you actually eat the blooming flower? Renee, that's a really good question. It is an edible flower and you can 100% what I would maybe recommend, like I would sit and eat it, I suppose. I probably wouldn't, but you could um, put it on a salad. You could chop it right up, put it on a salad. It'd be real good. Um, a, like a salad with like strawberries and pecans, some feta cheese. I'm getting crazy now. Sure. You can totally eat this, but I will tell you this, that on the occasion that you might choose to do so, have you ever made like stock? When you make a stock from water, from scratch, from the vegetables in the stock, the carrots, the app, the, the carrots, the onion, the celery, all of those great vegetables give the stock its flavor. So when you're done making stock, it's the actual broth that you've made that's flavorful but if you were to sit and eat the carrots and the onion and the celery it'd be awfully bland awfully boring so we are expecting the actual tea that is yielded from the blooming tea to be what you most enjoy so yeah you can totally eat them i would say i think i read like 80 to 85 percent of flowers are edible it's just you should not go around testing that theory because what if you try to eat the one that isn't edible so don't do that but I'm pretty sure a lot of flowers actually are so anyway okay I hope you will share the recipe I think Noreen is probably talking about strawberry pretzel oh yeah girl I'll be sharing all the recipes don't you worry Denise says you're making me hungry I know so during uh Kentucky Derby Cinco de Mayo tea party, yes. It is going to be both food and drink centered. A little less of tea, but we're gonna have fun because you know what, friends? I miss you. 
I miss all of you. I miss seeing you. And sure, we can't go to a restaurant. I don't really think that's such a big deal. We can still be together. We can still have fun. So if you've got any like super great recipes that you want to throw at me, feel free. Leave a comment. Leave me a private message. I will entertain it. It's no problem. But due to the fact that we are in social isolation, I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I don't want to be wasteful. I, I literally am here alone, okay? So I'm not going to be making a ton of food. But I really want to, you to get to know my friend who sells these fabulous products. So the majority of what I'm going to be making that week are using her products. They're organic. They're all natural. They're fabulous. I know you're going to love them. If you don't know her already, you will by the end of the week. So I do hope that y'all come. So anyway, yes, yes, yes. Teapots, who has got one of these? These are such a good seller for us. Friends, these are stackable teapots. They have a nice ceramic lid. Again, we sell loose leaf tea, so they have a very, very fine mesh infuser. These will keep your tea hot for two hours. They are dishwasher safe. You're gonna love them. Again, they make two cups. We have our stackable teapots, friends, in 12 colors. Again, these are available on our tea accessories page. And I'm bringing them forward again because I understand a lot of you need to still shop for Mother's Day or maybe a graduation present. And just because so much has changed, graduates are still graduating. So if you have a niece or nephew or someone in your life that you um, need to get a gift for, these are fabulous. They do come in their own box, so it's very easy to wrap. We sell these individually. We also sell them as gift sets. So you can buy them with our tea. And we also have our blooming tea. You can buy the glass teapot individually of the blooms if you care to do so. We now have a tower of tea gift set which comes with a pot um, and we've got loose leaf tea and blooming tea because again these teapots do both. So you can buy that as a gift set as well. Let's check in with our Saturday sangria. Friends, if I did not make it clear, I did use white wine to make sangria. It's easy. Who's ever had sangria in a restaurant? Right, smash that like button for me. I want to see a bunch of hearts. Have you had sangria in a restaurant? Nice big pieces of fruit. You can do that with this jug too. Do you see? It already has beautiful colors. I know some of you are like, what is she doing? She's cold steeping. Yes, you can cold steep. It's easy. And it already looks beautiful. And again, this was a bl two black teas, an oolong tea, and a green tea. So it's got a beautiful amber green color. Let's see, what was I going to say about this? About the fruit tea, the sangria? The, I don't know now. I don't know. Fruit tea, we've got it. We've got it. We've got it. All right. In addition to that, I wanted to show you a couple more tea accessories. This is our urban tumbler. This is made out of glass. So the infuser is down here. If you want iced tea, go ahead and put cold water. Like I said, you can leave it in all day, find a water fountain, and refill all day long. If you want hot tea, tumble it. It's called a tumbler, friends. Let's tumble it. Use hot water to make hot tea. Let it steep, but only a few minutes. When you're done, do you see it's an easy twist? And this is where the tea goes. And then you're out the door with your hot tea. So this again, nice fine mesh infuser. This makes 16 ounces of tea. Um, easy to clean because this is our urban tumbler and both ends come off, which I think is great. So you can take both ends off, run it through hot soapy water, easy peasy, you're good to go. So you can definitely use those tea leaves over and over in this style. This one that I'm showing you is called our Gal Galaxy. It has blue, purple, pink, green. It's kind of like iridescent. That's why I'm kind of showing it to you this way. We also sell our urban tumbler in silver. If you're, you'd like it plain, no worries. Oh, right. I also wanted to show, in case you're new to Sub Rosa Tea, if you're a first timer here, on our packages, not only do we have the caffeinometer that I pointed out before, we also have steeping instructions, which is how much to scoop out. This particular bag that I'm holding up makes 20 to 25 eight ounce servings. So I'm giving you instructions on how much to measure out 
to make it, how hot to get the water if you want hot tea, and of course cold, you guys know, you just do it in cold water, easy peasy. But all the instructions are all the instructions in the ingredients are listed and you can find all of the ingredients on our website. So if there's some of you like, oh, I just want tea that's um, got hibiscus in it. We have a search bar. You can just type in hibiscus and it'll bring up all the flavors of tea that have hibiscus in it. Maybe you're a chocolate kind of girl. You can type that in. Um, we've got lots of great chocolate teas too. I wanted to let you know that we not only have these beautiful honey stir spoons, but we also have them in flavors now. We have some wonderful flavors. We just got them in a little bit ago. We have coconut, lemon, lavender, we have a peach. I can't believe we're not sold out. These are very, very popular. So this is what a honey stir spoon looks like. And these I add to all of our large gift sets. With us, a large gift set has six half ounces of tea or six blooms. Oh, right, I forgot to say this too. With the blooming tea, what I showed you is this particular pod, one pod is in one package. But this, again, you need four cups of water. So right off the bat, you've made four cups of tea. And just like with the loose leaf tea that you're gonna reuse it, do that with your bloom too. I reuse this particular bloom four times. When I steep my blooming tea, it yields 16 cups of tea. So I don't want you to feel like, oh, I'm just getting one of something. Technically, you're getting a really great value. All those antioxidants, all those health benefits continue to dissipate through all of the steeps, which I think is pretty fabulous. So again, let's see, Catherine says she's got a green one, now needs a blue. Ah, oh, yes, wonderful. Thanks for coming, you guys. I love seeing you on a Saturday. Thank you, thank you. One more. One more tea accessory that I wanted to make sure all of you saw. Friends, this is our satin mug. It does come with a fine mesh infuser. This is completely stainless steel. It's a nice big basket, which really gives room for the tea to expand. Some teas, like green teas or chamomile teas, they get voluminous in size. They're actually going to grow in volume or size. That is why we do not recommend you cram your tea into a tiny tea ball. First of all, tiny tea balls have a hinge and the tea can escape. Oh, I hate that. And also you're not giving it room to get voluminous. When you do allow it to steep properly, it will taste better, yum, right? Also, you're gonna get more of the vitamins and minerals when you allow it to steep properly. So we recommend a nice fine mesh infuser. I have seen baskets like this on the market that have big, big holes. I, I don't know that they're for tea. I think they're for fruit. They're not for tea. This is highly recommended. So this satin mug is a three piece unit. You can see that it comes with a coaster that you can put your infuser basket on. And the coaster can also be used as a lid to keep your tea hot. Again, the mug is made out of ceramic, so it can be microwaved. This is the only tea accessory that we sell that can be microwaved except for the blooming teapot. The blooming teapot's made out of glass, so that's no problem. This is made out of ceramic. If you didn't notice, this particular teapot, the lid is attached and you don't put metal in the microwave. The reason I'm bringing it up is no, you don't microwave your tea leaves, you just microwave your water. We sell a lot of these, friends, we sell a lot of these to kids in dorm rooms. They don't have a kettle at a dorm room or maybe their first job, they might not have a kettle, but many job sites do offer a microwave so you can get your water hot at work. So this might be a really nice giftable option. Currently, we do have them in stock in three colors. This one is our stone blue. It's kind of like a robin's egg blue. We also have it in a beautiful light green color and a beige, a sand beige color. Very beautiful. Again, this is our satin mug. And everything I am talking about today is available at subrosatea.com. If you care to make a purchase, you are welcome to use the free shipping code UNITED when you use the code UNITED at checkout. 
I will be donating 20% of all live sale proceeds to the United Way. Friends, we are from Ohio, but we will ship anywhere in the United States. Leave me a comment below, where are you from? You don't have to tell me the city if you're being shy, but I'd love to know what state are you watching from? Leave a comment below. Currently, we don't ship retail to anywhere other than the United States, but we just launched wholesale with a third party organization and they are handling the shipping for us anywhere in the world. Isn't that fun? Tiny, tiny little companies nowadays can grow to being a global brand. I think that is just so interesting. So I am now going to talk about our loose leaf tea. So those of you who are brand new here, Renee's from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Hey, gosh, I don't know the next time I'm going to get to Grand Rapids, but I sure hope it's soon. I hope I'll see y'all soon. And Noreen's from Washington State. Girl, I think you win for the longest distance traveled. I know it's not, it's still morning where you are right now. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Friends, let's talk about mates. We talked about mate in the very beginning for our fruit tea combo. Like I said, mates have lots and lots of health benefits. They have a really stimulating level of caffeine. You should not get a drop off like you do with artificial stimulants, but you should get a nice smooth energy level. Personally, I get a good five hours out of just one cup. In addition to that warrior chai mate that was in our fruit tea combo, we also sell papaya mango mate. It's nice and fruity and a little bit floral. We also sell pistachio lime mate, which is nice and nutty. This is a good example that if you steep it hot, it will be nuttier. If you steep it in cold water, the lime and citrus notes will come forward. Next up, breakfast blend. This is plain black tea. It's unflavored black tea, but it does have lots of flavor. The type of black tea that we use in our breakfast blend is called Salon. It's actually an orange peacoat. Black cinnamon is like big red gum or red hot candies. It is not like Inferno though. It's not that hot. It's just a nice, sweet, smooth heat. Cafe Latte, friends, this is a black tea. It's got coffee beans and cocoa beans. It will taste like coffee, but none of the acid of coffee, but all the great antioxidants of tea. Bop and blueberry, this is like farm fresh blueberries. If you have this tea in your cupboard and you wanna make your own fruit tea, this is, would be a good substitution. I typically have leftover berries from a farmer's market in my fridge or freezer. Adding frozen berries to your fruit tea, spot on. Next up is Cherry Bomb. This is chocolate and cherry. I created this one based on my love of Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper is a cherry flavored cola. But the, the chocolate here kind of replaces the tannins of cola and of course all the great cherry. This is a good one, cold steeped in club soda or ginger ale. Next up, coconut truffle. It's like a Mounds candy bar with coconut and cocoa beans. You'll get all the great taste, no sugar, no calories and no carbs with our tea. We're assuming you don't actually eat the tea leaves, right? But the yielding tea that you get from Sub Rosa tea, no calories, no carbs, no sugar. Next up, Earl Grey cream. This is Earl Grey with bergamot. Bergamot, friends, is a Tuscan orange. We have the raspberry Earl Grey with our fruit tea combo. This is Earl Grey that has the bergamot and vanilla, which it makes it taste creamier and sweeter than traditional Earl Grey. London Fog is an Earl Grey with lavender. And again, everything with a red label, friends, at Sub Rosa Tea is a black tea. This is our fireside chai right now. Oh my God, yesterday it snowed like a couple of inches in Ohio in April. That is not normal. We have someone who watches, she lives in Maine and she's got feet of snow. That is not my 
normal. So yesterday, yep, I was drinking fireside chai because it was snowing outside and I was freezing cold. It was so nice to have a chai latte inside. <laughs> anyway, peach pie. This has got peach, cinnamon, and ginger. This is another good one that if you add a pinch of milk or heavy whipping cream, it literally tastes like peach pie a la mode. For those of you, it's already July in your head, right? Are we ready? Are we ready for July? Yes, we are. Friends, this is Pina Colada. This has got coconut and pineapple. Tammy says enough snow. Seriously, right? Toasted almond cookie. So this has got almond and cinnamon like a fresh baked cookie. We have sold this one for years. It is very, very popular. <clears throat> Friends, I also want to make sure you know about our purple rain tea. So this has got actual purple tea in it. Purple tea grows in Kenya. The plant gets a lot of sunlight and the, the leaves produce purple tea, which has anthocyanins, which are anti-cancer health benefits. This tea has got purple tea, lemon, and elderberry, all really good for your immune system. You can totally drink this both hot or cold. Friends, I am going to reset, but tell me. So yesterday, it was like in the 30s, but today it's going to be 60. Would you tell me what temperature it is out your door right now? Friends, next up, we're going to talk about green teas. Green teas are naturally low in caffeine. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, all tea technically comes from one plant. We process it to make it black, oolong, purple, green, and white. They're all the same plant. Mates that we talked about first, they grow in the Amazon. It's a completely different plant. Lastly, we'll talk about our caffeine-free tea. No tea plant in them. Anything that we steep is called tea, like peppermint. Peppermint is technically an herb. It's not the actual tea plant, but in America, we kind of take the liberty and call it tea. Right now, we're going to talk about green tea. Green tea, naturally low in caffeine. It has 20 milligrams of caffeine per cup, quite low, but high in antioxidants. And this is our berry bliss. Berry, goji berry, and raspberry. Next up is green caramel. This has real balls of caramel. We are an all natural company, so nothing artificial. This has got a great depth of flavor with the caramel and some toasted rice. Honey lemon is up next. Again, this is a green tea with honey, bee pollen, and lemongrass. Lemongrass is known to be good for your limb system, which is good for your fluids. So if any of you are suffering from seasonal allergies, you might prefer a tea that has lemongrass in it for like drainage and um, to alleviate some of your suffering. I know, right? We get snow and seasonal allergies at the same time. Oh, right. Thank gosh for a cup of tea, right? Lemon meringue is up next. This is a green tea with lemon and vanilla. Friends, if you add a pinch of milk or heavy whipping cream to your cup of lemon meringue, it literally tastes like lemon meringue pie with the white meringue on top. Oh, it's so good. It's so, so good. Next up is maple walnut. This has got walnuts and almonds, pineapple, and maple brittle. The maple does make it taste like syrup. It literally tastes like a nutty syrup, which I think is so refreshing. Sencha. Sencha is plain green tea. If you've ever been to a fine Japanese restaurant, like a sushi steakhouse type restaurant and ordered tea, most likely they would have served you a sencha. And that's the unflavored green tea that we sell here at Sub Rosa Tea. <laughs> Shisandra Berry. Shisandra is a super fruit. It's got high levels of antioxidants like goji berry or acai. This tea has shisandra berry, ginger, pomegranate, and hibiscus. Spiced pear. This is a green tea with pear and vanilla. This, friends, oh my gosh, do you like martinis? Martinis? 
this in some vanilla vodka, oh, heaven, so, so good. Next up, tropical green, pineapple and papaya. Yes, this is definitely fruity, but it's just on the floral side. Next up, watermelon lime. This is sweet like a Jolly Rancher or Blow Pop with carrots, coconut, carrots, I didn't, what am I talking about? Watermelon lime <laughs> has carrots and apples. Watermelon and lime. It's really good. Nice and sweet, fruity, tangy. Again, if you've got the iced tea jug, some watermelon, oh my goodness, this is just the perfect iced tea. I love it. Look at how beautiful the sangria looks. I cannot wait to dive in. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, next up, cucumber mojito. Friends, This we're still in the green teas, and this has got lime and peppermint. Those of you who like a mint green tea, this is the way to go. It's heaven. Next up is our white teas. At Sub Rosa Tea, everything with a pink label is a white tea base. White teas are very low in caffeine, but very high in antioxidants. It's a very delicate flavor. So I want to draw your attention to, again, the brewing instructions. Green and white teas, friends, I want you to use steaming water, not boiling. Boiling water can bruise the tea leaves and your tea can be a little bitter or grassy. Maybe not a tea, a taste that you want to yield in your cup of tea. This particular tea is a white tea with blackberry and sage. Sage is good for your memory. Sage makes this tea taste oaky like a Merlot. You see what I'm going with that? Megan's here. Hey, Megan. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Oh, like you had nothing else to do, right? Yes, I understand. Thank you, sweet lady, for coming. Hey, Andrea. Hey, thanks for coming, guys. Better late than never. What are you guys drinking? Will you leave me a comment? All these new people, you must have been having fun today doing something fun. Leave me a comment. What are you guys sipping on right now? We're talking about white teas. This is our good fortune. It's got jasmine and rose. So this tea is a little on the floral side. And friends, it has a special treasure on the inside. Every bag of our good fortune, we literally put like a little fortune inside. It's so cute. You'll love it. I hope you do anyway. <laughs> Next up, strawberry ginger. It does have sweet strawberries, and it, I would say it's a good 50-50 blend between the berry and the spicy ginger. It's really nice. <sighs> Andrea slept in today. More power to you, girl. I mean, what really is sleeping in, right? Who's setting your schedule? If you can do anything you want, that sounds good to me. I mean, I'm technically working, but I'm not traveling anywhere, so I think we can set our own schedules. I love that you still came anyway. Thank you. Renee says she is drinking a, a caffeine-free Coke, but now I'm craving some tea. So that's all. I'm doing my job then, right? If you're craving tea, since you're drinking Coke. I will tell you, you know, we just got back in stock, Renee. I'm talking to you now. We just got back in stock Key Lime. So I don't even have the little package with me. Have you had our Key Lime? Key Lime, it's a black tea. So it has like the same caffeine as your Diet Coke that you're sipping on. And it has all the same dark tannins of Coke. But because it's key lime with pineapple, it has the sweetness of soda. If you haven't tried it, Renee, you owe yourself. As soon as I get it back on the website, you got to try our key lime, girl. I bet you're going to love it. Anyway, Noreen, Noreen is drinking Roybus. Renee, I haven't tried it yet. It'll be back in stock soon. I promise. Last up, the last of the white teas I'm going to talk about today is our vanilla white chai. So this is the third chai I'm actually talking about today. This tea is definitely strong enough to have on its own, but it's definitely light enough to have with a meal. This is one that um, it's good as a latte, but it's also probably my favorite to do as an iced tea. If you're doing like an iced chai, very, very good. Friends, we're going to move into the caffeine-free tea now. And Megan and uh, Andrea, since you're... You just joined, wanted to make sure you saw today's fruity sangria. This is Saturday sangria. We made it with white wine today. 
Have any of you who've been around Sub Rosa a while, have you guys tried making sangria out? I think Karen has, but she's not here right now. So thanks, guys. Thank you. Love to hear if you're enjoying it as much as we are at my house. And Jennifer, do you have like a sampler to try a few? Jennifer, we have lots of them. Actually, let me show you. So the size I'm holding here, Jennifer, this makes 20 to 25 servings. It's our two ounce size. But Jennifer, we sell a two serving sample. We sell it like this. This is two servings. And I kind of sell it like this for a couple reasons. I want you to try it two ways. Like maybe try an eight ounce cup hot and then try it cold steep. See which way you like it better. Also, the other reason that I sell this two serving sample so much is because these bottles are like so, so popular and so are our teapots. And these both make 16 ounces, which is two cups. Do you see what I'm saying? So for those of you who are maybe like gifting it to a, like a college kid, they're not going to measure anything, right? We know that. It's measured for them that you would empty the whole packet right into the teapot that we sell. What makes it super giftable? So we have, we have like over 100 flavors of tea. I knew you, somebody would want samples. So yeah, we've got them for you. Don't worry. And our gift sets. If you're asking for something like a sample pack, you don't even want to think about picking your own flavors. We've got gift sets too that, you know, there's already a, a quantity in a bundle. So that might be better for you. She says, love my hot tea with Michigan winners. Yes, I know, right? I know, I know. Well, thanks for coming to the video. I appreciate it. And right now, friends, we're going to move into our caffeine-free Teas. I realize that a lot of you are having a hard time sleeping like all of a sudden, you know, for the first time in your life. Life is just so very different this past month and some of you are struggling for the very first time. So I always wanted to dedicate a few moments to our caffeine free teas and um, a lot of them do different things. So kind of listen up and, and see if you can kind of self-diagnose which one of the issues might be relating to you and we might have something that works. I will tell you though, even though we had a lot of fun steeping cold teas in the beginning of the video, if you're going to try one of our teas to help you relax with your anxiety um, to sleep, I'm going to recommend that you steep it hot. And the instructions are on the package. Not only hot, but boiling water okay for those of you using a microwave if you just put water in your microwave for like two minutes it will be hot but it will not be boiling you kind of need it like four minutes in the microwave for it to be a rolling bubble which is why I like my kettle I have an electric kettle so it comes up to a boil so 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 fast but even if you have a stovetop kettle make sure it whistles or makes a noise so you know that it's boiling. So first off, we're gonna talk about rooibos. We sell rooibos by itself. Noreen is drinking it right now. Rooibos, this is the first word that you see here. Rooibos is known as the red tea and it's known to be good for insomnia and inflammation. I think someone was here talking about circulation and inflammation and things like that. So rooibos might be of help. This one in particular, we do sell it plain, but this one is our rooibos chai. I do love it as a latte. If you decide to make a chai latte, put two scoops of tea in only one third cup boiling water and also steam two thirds cup milk or cream. When both are ready, you would marry them together to make a chai latte. If those of you who are missing your favorite coffee shop, your favorite latte, you can do it yourself. So I then used the rooibos chai base to make the carrot cake rooibos. So this has got all the great chai spice, but also I added carrots, coconut, and maple. So it's like a sweet and spicy tea. Again, it has the rooibos base. Chocolate mint rooibos, friends. This is like a Girl Scout Thin Mint cookie with milk, chocolate, and peppermint. This is my favorite to add some Kahlua. Mmm, I love it. Salted caramel, nice and sweet. Again, friends, I'm an all-natural company, so I do use real balls of caramel. This is a rooibos tea. It's nice and smooth. This is our rooibos Earl Grey. Again, friends, Earl Grey is made with bergamot. Bergamot is a Tuscan orange, so this is like a like an orange with the rooibos tea, caffeine-free. 
spiced Mexican chocolate. Guess which tea is going to be featured during Cinco de Mayo. I'm going to do something really fabulous and fun with this. Spiced Mexican chocolate does have sweet ancho chilies and milk chocolate. It's got a little cinnamon in the background. Totally great cup of tea. It's got great depth of flavor. Raspberry Lemoncello. This is also a rooibos, but we used green rooibos here instead of red rooibos. This has got raspberry and lemongrass. Again, lemongrass is known to be good for your lymph system, so it's good for your fluids. So if you are suffering from seasonal allergies, the raspberry lemoncello might be a good way to go. Also, make sure you steep it hot. Of course, you can have it cold if you choose to, or steep it cold, but if you're drinking it for allergies, I'm gonna recommend that you steep it hot. Next up, blue confetti, who's had it? This one is very popular with Sub Rosa tea. Um, friends, this tastes like vanilla. It tastes like funfetti, funfetti birthday cake. Do you know what I'm talking about? So it's a nice sweet vanilla taste and it will turn the color blue in your cup from a flower that I use. So it's literally a cup of blue tea. If you add a pinch of lemon to it, your cup of tea will turn purple. It's like a science experiment, it's super fun. Anyway, chamomile, friends, chamomile is known for relaxation. This is our chamomile vanilla bean. This is a chamomile with spearmint and orange peel. It's our peace of mind. Chamomile with spearmint and orange peel. I'm going to bring up another tea right now. So we sell valerian root by itself. This is valerian root. If you haven't had it, valerian root is known to not only help you fall asleep, but go back to sleep. So we sell it by itself that you can add some valerian root to any cup of tea that I'm talking about, any one of our caffeine-free teas. It's one of those things that when you wake up in the middle of the night and your mind is on, you're thinking about the chores, you're thinking about what you have to get done, you have to make phone calls, you forgot to you know, set the dishwasher to run, whatever, and the chaos that's going on. Valerian root is known to not only help you fall asleep, but also go back to sleep. So if that is a situation that you are now uniquely having, you might want to try it. And you can add it to anything. Oh, I wanted to make sure I didn't forget to tell you. If you haven't had valerian root, you kind of have to trust me on this. Friends, it smells like stinky feet. There's no two ways around it. When you get this and you open up your package, you're going to be like, I am not trying that. Trust me, it doesn't taste like that. No one would drink it if it did. It really doesn't taste like that. But it does smell like that. I'm not going to lie. I want you to know ahead of time that adding this to your tea, you're going to taste the tea. You're going to taste the flavor of the tea that you add it to. But we sell it by itself so you can add as much or as little as you need. Okay, that's why I like to sell it by itself. So definitely something to try. Also, um, we've got someone working in the background, and I wanted to tell you that we have got a hidden web page. She's going to pin this web page in the comments so you can find it again. We have the Top Shelf Club where I do limited edition flavors. So I talk about those limited edition flavors during our live sale on Thursdays. Thursday afternoons, I'm in our Facebook group called the Top Shelf Club. Inside that Facebook group on Thursdays, I talk about the limited edition flavors, which is where you will find the valerian root. And on Thursdays during this period where I can't travel, I am also introducing you to some of my friends who are also handmade artists, people who I've met on the road who used to or hope to return to the lifestyle of vending at festivals, fairs, craft shows. They make great quality items and I'm going to be introducing you to my friends on Thursdays. So last Thursday we talked about some of the people who sew for a living and were making masks and I gave a couple of way to people who are watching the Thursday before that. I talked about Green Bubble Gorgeous and all of their spa and bath 
and body. So even though we're technically, we can't travel, they still have websites or Facebook pages that you can contact them. Back to the caffeine-free tea. We have some really fruity teas, but the one that's most notable right now is the strawberry moringa. I'm sorry, I lost it. Okay, this is the strawberry moringa. So this is nice and sweet like strawberries naturally are, but moringa is known to lower blood sugar and blood cholesterol. Strawberry moringa. Tammy just said, do you make it the same way? Tammy, what's it? I don't know what it is. Do you make it the same way? What was I talking about before strawberry moringa? It had to have been something a couple seconds ago. I'm sorry, Tammy, I just saw your comment. Um, ask me again and I'll try to answer it, okay? I'm sorry. There's always a delay. If you haven't watched a Facebook Live before, um, there's always some weird delay on how they show me comments. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. Anyway, strawberry moringa, I'm bringing it up because it is very good hot, but it's also very good cold. I am talking to you right now in April. Eventually it's gonna get hot for most of us and we're gonna want some iced tea. So this is a great cold tea. You can mix it with something if you want. This is my favorite to cold steep and then pour it into a popsicle mold and make popsicles. I love strawberry popsicles. I love it. Um, I personally love basil. I think that's crazy, right? I love basil in with my strawberry, in with my popsicles. I do that. Frozen strawberries, frozen peaches or blueberries in with your popsicles, in with your iced tea makes a great all natural popsicle that you don't really need sugar. So I think those are great treats. Anyway, moving on, we're still in the caffeine free. And next up, we're going to talk about triple root. A triple root is ginger, turmeric, and sarsaparilla, which are all good for your joints. And I'm bringing it up again, some of you, your life is different now. Either you're sitting way more, or maybe you're standing way more, or maybe you're exercising because your life has changed and you don't have other things to do. So now you're going on like five mile walks. Good, I get it. But if you're not sleeping because your joint hurts, this might actually help you. This is ginger, turmeric, and sarsaparilla for joint mobility. It is very spicy. If you steep it hot, it's kind of like just punch you in the face, spicy. Again, my, I don't know how many people just sit and eat ginger, but it's spicy. So if you would like to consume this, but you don't want it so spicy, either add less tea to water ratio or steep it cold. Steeping it cold is more like, you know, ginger ale, ginger soda, ginger beer, where it's just in the background. It's so good. Speaking of which, we do sell just ginger root by itself. Purple, the lighter purple labels at Sub Rosa Tea are single ingredients. So this is just ginger root, good for tummy troubles and nausea. Hibiscus is known to lower blood pressure. Um, it's a little tart, a little floral. We'll be diving more into hibiscus during the Cinco de Mayo event, so I hope you're all gonna come. Lavender, this is lavender flower known to be good for anxiety and relaxation. Lavender flower, this is one of my favorite things to do to add to one of our brew bags. Add the lavender and one of our chamomile teas and literally steep myself in my bathtub. Chamomile is so good for your skin, it's so soothing. The chamomile and the lavender is help relaxing. You're gonna breathe it in while you're soaking in the bathtub. You're literally gonna steep yourself in your bathtub. It's fabulous. Next up, licorice root. This is licorice root. It does not taste like licorice candy. It is good for heartburn or acid reflux. It does taste like sugar. Licorice candy tastes like anise. This tastes like sugar. So this is an all natural sweetener. So if you naturally have a sweet tooth, adding some licorice root, a pinch to the cup of tea that you're consuming, it might help you add either less sugar or honey or none at all. And it, like I said, it's got some great health benefits too. So try the licorice root. We sell it plain, so again, you can add it as much or as little as you prefer. 
Next up, one more flavor on our uh, Top Shelf Club page. Again, this particular guy is on the Top Shelf Club page. We have some limited edition flavors there. It's kind of a hidden web page, which is why we have pinned the post here for you. Our throat treat. This has got the licorice root that I just talked about and the raspberry leaves that I told you about with the raspberry limoncello, but it also has hibiscus and orange and slippery elm which is a very specific ingredient that is known to be good for sore throats, the inflammation that can happen. And again, I bring this forward um, if by chance you're suffering from a cold, if your seasonal allergies are already bad. Again, you can drink it at any temperature, but I would highly suggest that you drink it or you steep it. Steep it in boiling water. It's called throat treat. <laughs> Renee says, while you're teaching me a lot, I can now have baths with tea. <laughs> I know. Okay, and Joy says, received my first order yesterday and can't wait to try it. The cranberry blend. Cool. That cranberry tea, it's got cranberry and apple, and it's it's so good. I mean, it, it's, a, you know, cranberries, they're not as, they're not the sweetest berry in the bunch, so it can be a little tart. It's good hot. It's good cold. It's definitely good in gin or vodka as a martini. So Joyce, I hope you enjoy the cranberry. I hope you have fun. You could totally, you know, give it a try and let us know how you liked it. Friends, once again, we have got this great tip top tea combo pack where we're going to save you some money. We did some blooming tea. My little Lishi is looking beautiful and well steeped. And I'm going to definitely be pouring that into my Saturday sangria. If you weren't here in the beginning of the video, I put white wine in with our loose leaf tea. And it's been in there for like an hour or so. I think it's done. I think it is ready. And once again, if you are very, very late to joining us, our giveaway today, friends, is this particular gift set. It is a $50 value. You'll get these two beautiful cups, this teapot that makes 16 ounces of tea and six of our tea. In order to win the giveaway, all you have to do is comment. So leave a comment. Do that hash play replay if you're watching it on the replay. I love that you joined us. So you've got this opportunity to win, no purchase necessary. If you decide to purchase anything, you are welcome to enjoy free shipping on me by using the code UNITED. You'll get free shipping and we will be donating 20% of all live sale proceeds to the United Way this month in April. Thank you, thank you friends. Thank you for attending our live sale. I appreciate it. Again, everything can be purchased on our website at subrosatea.com. No matter what you do with the rest of your day, have yourself a cup of tea and take care of you. Bye-bye friends.